Hello and welcome to a new series on Benji Thomas where we look at the last week in scientific news. We haven't actually got an intro. Right, okay, apparently have got an intro. Doesn't matter. Let's get into it. SpaceX launched again this week, putting a satellite from Spain into orbit. However, another payload was also launched into orbit, and that was two SpaceX-made satellites that are going to be testing out broadband capabilities in order to further SpaceX's mission to bring internet to every area of the globe, operating over 4,000 satellites by the mid-2020s. In other news, Norway's Svalbard Seed Bank has reached the 1 million mark in number of seeds. The Arctic Vault contains seeds for all kinds of plants and its use is to provide a safe backup to all seeds in case of a disappearance, extinction or accidental loss of a type of seed normally stored in gene banks. Moving away from the cold north to, well, everywhere, the world's fishing fleets have been mapped by satellites in orbit. By working through 22 billion identification messages, computers have found out that more than 55% of the planet's oceans are enduring industrial exploitation. Going more local and into Europe, a study has been released that suggests that ancient Britons were replaced by outsiders, known as the Beaker people, around 4,500 years ago. Th that's about it for this one. The mystery of the upside down ankylosaur has been solved. For those of you who don't know, in a collection of 36 ankylosaurus fossils, 70.3 of them were found upside down. Why? It's because those ones that were found upside down were found in lakes and rivers. When they died here and their belly bloated, the air in the ankylosaur's belly flipped it over. And more dino news for you guys. For the first time, dinosaur eggs, belonging to the Prismatulithus levasu taxon, have been found in the Horseshoe Canyon formation in Alberta, Canada. And that's it for this week's news. You may have noticed we haven't got a name for the series yet, so please give us your suggestions in the comments. Have a great week and we'll see you on Sunday.